If if you don't like the slap and you want to slap someone else back, you can only slap Laz. That's he right. enjoys that stuff. I enjoy that. That's right. Alrighty. Tape is rolling, boys and girls. Let's see if it'll stream to my stream today. <laughs> yes, I can't believe uh, Twitch changed your auto-hosting thing. Yeah, they've been making quite a bit of changes lately. Completely borked my stream. everybody this is laz and this is jack welcome to another edition of lunch with laz and jack where well, we, we interpret the news so you don't, don't have, have to. to that's right bringing you our own brand of news right here inside chat avatar five days a week for your viewing and listening pleasure How's everybody doing out there today? And thank you for joining us. It is Wednesday, May 17th, 2017 here inside Trinity Avatar. Uh, we're a week and a day out from uh, release 41, uh, the much anticipated release 41. And uh, of course, we're anticipating that the... Uh, QA servers may come up a day or so early this week uh, if they get some of that migration done on uh, 5.6.1, is it? Yes, that's what they said internally, um, that Chris was updating everybody to 5.6.1, although on my Unity upgrade, it was only 5.6.0 F3. F3. So. Yeah, so I, I don't know whether or not they got a pre-edition of Unity 561 since they actually pay for it. Yeah, quite. Yeah, could be a so, beta build. So they have... Uh, well, that or they may release the earlier editions to the commercial customers before the free release. Hence the F3. It might be free 3. Ah, uh, okay. Know. Hmm. Things that make you go... Hmm. But, uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe. I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I only deal with the free version of Unity, so can't tell you. But we do have lots of news, and we we do have a fun discussion that we can engage in about the changes to death and decay. We have that, of course. Uh, we have uh, some regular stand-up. Um, of course, all sorts of good stuff out there. Uh, the closing well, of a very beloved location out there. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, name changes. I mean, name all name stuff. changes, all sorts of interesting stuff. Um, so, as I always ask, where do we want to start today, Jack? Um, at the end. At the end. Thank all right. Sure. Thank you, everybody. I uh, hope you all had a great day. Um, <laughs> we couldn't do the show without you guys, and we do it for we you. We love you guys. That's right. Yeah, I'm going to go take a nap now. <laughs> <sighs> Y'all well rested up now, finally? Mon Monday, oh, man, you you had a really serious case of dragon I, ass. I tell you. Yes, I did. <laughs> I, that was his breath. Yeah. Oh, well, well, that's another that's story. <laughs> You don't want to know. Yeah, yeah. You want to talk about breath? 
until you've seen Rustic Dragon Fellow Man with a belch. Yeah, you don't mm, know anything. Know <laughs> I heard about it. Yeah, we've got yeah, it on video. You could have watched it. <laughs> That's right. I've seen it. Yeah. That's right. Okay, so we do have Stand Up Corner from yesterday. Don't forget Stand Up Corners where they say, hey, I worked on this yesterday. I'm working on this today. Something random gets written down and eventually gets posted to the forums, and we get to interpret it. So over in the art department, Bob the Builder. Cult of Bob. Working on the greenhouse and Jira's. Jira. Fletcher. Fletch lives. Working on Sequana and Bugs. Bug. Kevin. He's trying to figure out how do you how did they super glue wounds in the Middle Ages? Uh, Where's they the super did, glue? They Wounded soldiers. Out, didn't they? Oh uh, they, they, yeah! They put leeches on it to uh, help suck up. The yeah, blood yeah. We're, we're gonna purify the blood. Here's some leech leeches. Yes. And that's E E C, not L I C. Uh, are you sure about that? I don't know. I uh, don't know. You want to know? Wouldn't be Lord sucking on your wounds. I don't know. I I personally depends don't. on it depends <laughs> on how well he sucks. Well, I mean, uh, uh, if, if you want him sucking on something. I, I don't know. It, I'm not going to heal you, but I'll make you feel good while you're done. That's right. Well, I'm draining the life out of you. While you're yeah. sucking the soul straight out of you, it's, it's come like and go you'll, all you'll at die the same with time. The, that's right. Die with a smile on your face. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what we so, really call a happy ending. <laughs> yeah. You've been sucked dry. <laughs> okay, so he's working on Wounded Soldiers, the Almighty Gix Vargach, Matt Psh- He's working on fan horse trots. In the world. <laughs> He's working on the pony girl with horse trots. What? He's working on the trots? What? What? He's, horse been, ha- He's been hanging around Led Zeppelin too. Led Zeppelin too long. Horse droppings. I, <laughs> I, I, well, well, what? I, I think he's. Uh. Uh, do, Hold on, I've got to go find the video for this one. Well, uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm thinking that, that that's a major tease right there, working on horse trots. But, uh, <laughs> uh, let's I'm, see. I'm, go- I'm going to go out on a limb and say that they may just try and slip mountain yeah, before release. I don't know. Slip it in. Yes. <laughs> See, I, 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 I'm, I'm wondering whether or not he's going to be pre-exercising this entire thing or not. Um, I, and, you know, I, I, I if, if I really had to take an educated guess, I, 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 I don't I would, know whether or not. I would think, I, I think more he, Monty Python than anything else on that. Are you sure it's not going to be pre-exercised like that video I just posted? I don't know. I don't know. Let's take a quick look I, at the video and uh, see. Yeah, what, you, uh, I think he might be prancercising for this ah, one. Okay, I, I am. That, that may, may quite be because I've seen I've seen that before too. Uh, that was. Uh, God, I hope that woman's wearing a wig. Um, <laughs> oh, that's, that's, uh, she, Peg, that, that's a that's that's a Florida. Yes, that's Peg that, Bundy's that is sister. that is Florida. <laughs> that is Florida today. Only I mean that camp. <laughs> If you get to like a minute and twenty three seconds, the camel toe is out of this world. That's a man. <laughs> no, it is not a man. No, what the hell is that? Is uh, oh. she actually oh, started? He, she actually tried to get this to be a craze. This, uh, I think, came out after the Jane Fonda workouts. Uh, was when. Uh, no, this came that, out like that. Three, camel toe is a prostitute. Five years ago. Man, I don't <laughs> <laughs> well, that would. Yeah, we qualify. Yeah. So, I mean, Gix is on set right now. We could always ask him whether or not he's going to be prancercising in game, or if he's actually adding some animations to the horses in game to where they actually trot. But that's no fun. I mean, the other thing is, what's the new fad that's sweeping through Europe? Um, oh, crap! What the hell is it called? Where you ride the horsey and they go jump, jump things. Um. Uh, uh, hobby horse horsing. jumping? Yeah, hobby horsing. Oh, that, yeah, I saw that. Oh, the stick horses? Yeah, like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, slip. I mean, it, it's, it is possible that, that Gix could be doing the hobby horsing 
Um, and that's what he's working on. I mean, but that, I mean, that's got the, the, the jumps. It's got a, all kinds of things that need to be shown off. And uh, he can only do the prance right now. So hopefully he's working on it. I don't, I don't know. Well, uh, has he chimed in? Uh, I don't see Not that. yet. Yeah. I mean, he's sitting on a set. Wait, he went offline. Yeah, I was no, going to say, I don't see yeah. him. Uh, yeah, okay, I see where he dropped yeah, he, 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 Yeah, he was he online, ran. now he's <laughs> offline. He, he, he I think he ran. I, I think he's like, man, they nailed me on the prancer sizing. Prancer sizing. It's going to be a real thing. Prancer. He's back. Okay. He's back, but shh. And he, I, I got to He ask, wasn't here, so he couldn't I, I hear see, us. I uh, see Luke Land Cricket out there. Eagle, do, do we have an yes. update? Have you gotten the package? I need to know. I still oh, see it in the yeah. warehouse. At least I did last check. Uh, okay. I'm hoping yeah. he got his package. He accepted Laz's package. Well, I, I <laughs> hope he's taking your package oh. firmly in hand. I mean, yes, yeah. it, it would be a great thing. We I mean, uh, and BNN are really great at delivering the package. Yeah, yeah. Reed was working on airships and shields. Over in design, Beezus. The bees. Now, what did we have to ask him? Chris said we had to ask him something. Well, we have to ask him about crafting and the time sink. Ah, um, the the time bees sink working on. Real. Yeah, creature skills and creature loot. Sea wolf. Mm -hmm. Sea Wolf gets to go enjoy a new meeting because there's a new map in the Sequanic Colossus. Damien also at the map kickoff meeting and tutorials and Blood River's upskirts quest and planning. And planning. I'm sorry, did you just say Blood River upskirts quest? Yes. 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 Oops. Well, it was. She hasn't been paying attention. The last I like it better weeks. that way. No, I guess not. <laughs> Thank you. Oh I'm yeah. moving. I'm moving, yeah. you guys. Of course. It's crazy. See, it's a little rough when you get the blood river when you go up the skirt, but yeah. well, see, in order to Ooh. avoid the blood river, you actually have to sail around into the murkier waters. Um, Laz knows what I'm like. Dan the man. Dan the man, Brennan. <laughs> See, someone just figured it out. Someone just figured it out. That's why she was laughing. Working on the map kickoff meeting and the Oracle Colossus puzzles and updating Unity. Sanio working on prefab buildings and the map kickoff meeting. Lum the Mad. The mad. Made an update to his blog and the map kickoff meeting and the Oracle. Sorcerer Steve. He's trying to wrap up the upskirts out in Blood River. And the map kickoff meeting and Liberus Ruins. And home. Yes, he is. <laughs> he found the cotton. <laughs> and then... Uh, our in own energy vortex list Rostov working on blood bay polish and the map <laughs> someone just texted me to say you're disgusting yeah Hi, Justin. Well, we know that <laughs> don't know what you're talking about yeah. no clue what you're talking about blood bay polish and the map kickoff meeting and play testing in the oracle colossus <laughs> <laughs> Over in tech. <laughs> Bobby. Little Bobby Thompson. Damn it, Compass Bobby. updates and skies and the pet ooey. 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 Ooey and MacBooks. Bug. Eric. Working on factions and combat and bugs. Bug. And I, I need to get a, a I need to get a link for uh for, for Marguerite, real quick. Hold, hold on. YouTube. I'm scared. Hailstorm. You should be. Questing upon the poop deck with lyrics. Mm -hmm. The funniest 
song ever. Ever. If you're a sicko. There's I Gix. don't know what you're talking about. Gix is back now. Gix is... Well, he's been back. It's The real question is whether or not he's uh, um, actually doing things. Listening, yes. Yeah. Well, he, he does listen, but the real question is he ever going to chime in and answer the questions. Yeah, I get, oh my gosh, got, Charlotte, got wonder. Charlotte Gray is here. He's always got Charlotte Gray. What? Did he kidnap uh, Charlotte Gray so yes. nobody can... Well, uh, the, the, that quest is still... I mean, she's dead again on my on my quest log. Uh, so, factions, eventually, factions are going to be great. That's part of the meaningful PvP. Uh, JY. JY. Working on a bit of localization and agriculture storage. Eat them up, yum. What? Agriculture storage? I, I, I'm more interested in a sprinkler system for some mm -hmm. alcohol. Mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. my greenhouses and the conversation mm -hmm. system. Wizard Smoke. Hey. He's <laughs> passing around oh, God. the mail. You've got mail. <laughs> the Deathbringer, one and only, working on bugs uh, and fishing. Merc, you see that? Be because fishing is oh so the most fishing. important skill ever. Yeah, it isn't. Yeah, yeah, it isn't. Uh, I hate to say it to you, Winfield, but fishing not that important. Not until fish. they get fish. Th uh. Yeah, don't go upsetting uh, the, the old message man in a bottle field now. Hey, as soon as they get message in the bottles and treasure maps and a few other things in game, then I'm all about the fishing. Well, Until how, then, how do you yeah. know that's not what he's working on now? Because they haven't even implemented a cartography skill. Duh. You don't need a cartography skill to fish up an hey, SOS bottle. I need I, to. De I need to decipher my treasure maps. Well, treasure maps another thing. SOS bottle. Hey, hey, the burning toad? The burn. He's the scratching the inch. Burn. That's Unity 5.6 and builds and QA updates. Tassilo working on security and build upgrades and marketing support and free trial updates. <laughs> Our useless overhead group, we have Andrea Vineyard working on localization and forms and regression. NFG. NFG Vineyard, yes. The Dippy Bird. The Bird. I went everybody's head about the bird. <laughs> you thought it wasn't going to happen, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I. You should I know better when we've got a sound guy on duty. We do? I mean, hey, there's my, been my, a... my hands were right here. You didn't see me do anything. Where are my like hands? I ever, like I ever do anything to begin with, I tell you. <laughs> Hold on, let, let me. Lot. Yeah, stand around a lot. <laughs> uh, Dippy Bird's working on Unity updates and game balance and bugs. Bug. And glyphs. Dip. Gorn. Working on that business. Working, working on bedazzling his red speedo as well as general business and team support. He's got everybody a red speedo for support. Mm. Yes. A whole lot of support in that speedo. He's he's adding some lycra, so it's a little stretchy. A little stretchy. So yeah. So you can fit that odd piece down there. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Barrick once attended a hospital or meeting and sales data and live stream and reports and community. Then Hutch. Hutch. Working on the map kickoff meeting and live stream and bugs bug you know marguerite now that i think about that i wonder if we can get chris to read that and record it that would be funny read what what <laughs> <Suck it, miners. laughs> oh i love that okay yeah somebody needs to write a children's story called you know suck it everyone and then we'll get chris to read it yeah well yeah you, you know the uh oh, absolutely. the go the fuck to sleep uh, children's story that's been <laughs> right, read by yeah. every celebrity out there I love uh, that. 
Yeah, it's, yeah, uh, yeah. I think it would just be yes. funny to get Chris to do a read of it. That's all. You know, that would be, yeah. But anyway, moving right along. And then the entire Indian and soundboard becomes go the fuck to sleep. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Especially when we have to add, if you want a safe log out, you have to go to sleep. Go the fuck to hey, sleep. you know, a little interesting and, twist. Um, yeah. You have to be straight, rested straight up for the next Ewell. day. Yeah. But then we, yeah, we, need, Hutch. we need camping. You know that. So that we can camp hey. here instead of having to go to our beds because we're that lazy. And we can make well, s'mores. Oh, oh yeah. yes. s'mores. Yay, s'mores. How many Indian mm-hmm. does can I make with uh, s'mores? Mm-hmm. Oh, wonder. We're it's almost we're to the end about. of stand-up. Let's go ahead. I know. <laughs> I'd be here another I, I, 20 I, I, minutes I, I, with I, s'mores. <laughs> 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 the cock is telling you it's time to rise. That's right. With Hutch. Hard, I know. Yeah, you went Working on the today. map kickoff meeting and live stream and bugs. Bug. Then the Attenwood. Working on sanity test and regression and forums and localization. Lord British. Give He's general here. businessing. Hail the comrades. Chaos working on the customer service and security and weekend sales and updating Unity and equipment as direct decorations. And Serafina, she's trying to figure out how do these sales work and mm. weekly update proofing and customer service and shipping. shipping. And that's what our devs said they were working on yesterday. And in their right. So some nice yeah. updates out there. Uh, Fishing, fishing. And that's from Merck. Who there wanted that go. fishing <laughs> update? See, there you go. Oh, factions. factions being worked on. Mail system being worked on. Yep. All sorts of goodies being worked factions? on. Factions. Yes. I want factions. factions. Did you? Didn't you hear us say factions? Yes. yes. Talk about that some more. Well, well, we don't we don't know what much about the faction system that's know. going on. Yeah. That that is the only information that we have now I seen think, or heard. No, that is not true. Matter of fact, uh, hold on a second, because if you recall, and if I recall, let's see if I actually have that right here. No, he doesn't. While we're right, waiting for twenty minutes for. For last to find a piece of paper that doesn't exist, we can talk about Lum's daily work blog because Lum is doing weird things. So yesterday, Lum decided to show us a picture from Jira. This is what we know about the faction system. Uh huh. Yeah, that wasn't the faction system. That was the virtue system. No, that was the faction uh, system that was discussed that was, that, at Grand Diagram. As so put I did on not, a paper yeah. towel by Richard Garriott and signed uh, as he was taking people's opinions on how it should work, and he was visualizing it and going, "So this should do this, and this should do." Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Whether it's actually so, going to work like that. I, I was unaware I'm going to need a I do not... screenshot of that with explanations, because <laughs> that only made it more flow curious. charts, exclamation <laughs> points, <laughs> pointers. Yeah. So, uh, supposedly there's a bug that uh, uh, bank would not open for women. So, that's very sexist of the bankers. Damn. It's a sperm bank. It's a sperm bank, man. And it only opens for women. Yeah, and he was also working on the quest sequence for the Path of the Oracle. And that takes us to today. Where are we? Um, Lum the Mad. Oh, well. Daily work blog. I haven't even gotten there yet. Hey, not my fault. Sure it is. I told you exactly where I was going to. You didn't tell me nothing. I was busy so digging in the drawer. Attention. You think I was actually paying attention? Hey, I know you were. <laughs> you pay about as much attention as I do. That's so. right. What, what, so, I can't afford NFG. to pay attention these days. 
That's great. Yeah, keep I'm losing so my skill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so Lum has been whining about Unity crashing um, um, to Chris and then upgrading Visual Studio since Chris laughed at me for running one year out of date and then complaining that I was crashing when debugging Unity. And then he's continuing to work on the Oracle Im implementation. And that's what Lum is working on. Lum the Mad. Yeah. Lots of updates. Need more quests. Lots more quests. Lots and lots. Yeah. What's a quest? I don't know. What's a poop deck? That's a pound. You know. And everybody should listen to that song because it is so glorious. <laughs> it is. You don't know. So, so you ready for what Chris was working on today? No. Before we said the start? song. Yes. Uh, what? We, you, we, you love that song. I, I, you know, I just, uh, I just love I, how much you love that song. That's what. That's what. Well, it's because makes it, it, funny it makes me, me laugh. Yes. It makes me laugh. Yeah. Well, Weird and, Al makes me laugh too. But you understand, you know. Hey, any any song that is just all kinds of it, from a pirate metal band talking about questing upon the poop deck. Uh, is just too damn funny. Yes. I mean, especially when they're sailing around the uh, murkier waters and ensuring that there's no sons or daughters. And uh, uh, to answer Talking Valo's, about the salty white spray. Yeah, to answer Valo's what? question, what? factions were mentioned as what somebody's working on in the stand-up, and uh, the napkin was just part of yes. our shtick. Uh, well, I did get that while we were talking to Lord British at Dragon Con last and, year. <laughs> Whether Factions have been mentioned several times on the stand. I understand. Corner. Not, but, but, yeah. There's somebody working on them and being mentioned is two different things. Yes, hey. that goes with the uh, with Casey's chocolate salty <laughs> balls there, uh, Zip. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. It's a double double salty treat just for you. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. Yep. So Chris, he's working on getting a shit ton of coding done today. Whoop, whoop. And he's switching all skills with greater than level 80 to give back 100% XP on unlearning. This is due to the change in release 43 that will make skills in the 100 plus range decay at double the oh. rate. Yeah. And the skills in the 81 to 100 decay at one time the rate. Also a chance for players who want to rethink their strategies for leveling skills or switch schools. And decay is only generated from experience already applied to schools and not experience in your pool. Which I think is really flawed because I mean, the I, it, I, I have so many problems with the decay system that I didn't get to stress my p questions in a pointed direction yesterday. All right. I, I blame Laz. I, I blame Laz. It's so all Laz's fault. Oh. Well. Yes. Looks like I'll be farming for another release. <laughs> yeah. Well, considering it's okay. That I need the reagents. You own and Markham Farms. I don't know what you really planned on doing to begin with. So. Well, you know, I like to go out and adventure every now and again. And, you and better not. You better not do it. He likes it's collecting the wood scrap. It's a farming simulator now for me. Yes, and uh, I, I know it's a deco simulator for other people, so it's going to be... I, I think they're going to end up going the way of Lineage 2, which is to remove the death punishment. Or make it so that way your character is slightly weaker. Well, let's in a get scene through for... this, and then we can uh, take a quick revisit through uh, yesterday's show and uh, oh, man. Uh, review. Yes, killing me, killing me. Okay, he's changing it so death applies half the accumulated decay. That will soften the blow for the first death and make deaths after the first one in a play session somewhat more meaningful. 
not at all. Oh, that's and amazing. taking Scythome's advice and making taming not decay until I have a better chance to evaluate required skill levels in the taming tree. Should be that for all trees. I took a pass at the tamed creatures last release, but I didn't investigate required skill levels. I hope to get that in a future release, but until then, this will ease the pain a bit. No, it won't. Change, Change from that from for raid shot. I think that's supposed to be rapid shot slightly, so it reaches its peak arrow count at 100 instead of 101 skill based on feedback from Caval Triumvird. And then fixed a log message that was blocking some metrics tracking for skill usage. And Polarm users rejoice. He's trying to get the two-handed shaft in his hands. And he's looking at it. Trying to fix. He's with playing with the two hands. Weird grin right now. Yes. He's got two hands on the shaft right now. Right now. Right. Firmly uh, rolling really around. That's not where it's going, though. Now, yep. uh, and that's what Chris is working on. Yes, and that is what he's been working on. And uh, now we've had a little feedback. I've had some, I know. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing you have had some feedback, unless you were... Well, yes, I have. And, of course, uh, I, know, I know Led Zepp over here. Is, uh, Led Zepp's been Led rumbling Zepp. since about 11.30 this morning since I got here. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, think well, I read his post, you know, so I didn't yeah. see it yesterday, so... So I think now, what's going to end up happening is death is going to be more punitive with the changes that Chris is making. Is uh, the most and foremost uh, commentary I've heard so far is, okay, so nothing's changed. Is uh, bas basically same math spread out over time, same penalty, same. Uh, same rigmarole, uh, you know, basically, you know, it's the same math. Yeah, it's new math is basically. <laughs> Fuzzy math. Yeah. Hey, it's, the, it's the square root of everything. It's alternative math. It's al 42. Yeah, it's, it's alternative we're, news. It's, 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 we're putting we're, a spin we're gonna, on it. We're, we're square rooting the news today. Now, yes, uh, skills from 101 plus will decay at double the current rate. That is absolutely correct, and that was verified during uh, yesterday's conversation. Um, and, of course, um, people are going to whine about it, but they, you know, remember, remember they, you were looking at what was originally a four times penalty. He was thinking about actually going yeah, four it times was. initially on it that. Was. Uh -huh. um, so for those of you folks who are really um, complaining about that, uh, you know, I would say at this point, be happy that it never did go to four times now. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, my uh, God. But uh, major feedback is uh, same, same, same result, different math. Um, I don't know. At this point, I, I really got to think, of course, I got to wait and see myself. And again, this is just my own personal view. Um, if I'm striving towards goals, uh, it seems that that extra goal is just never going to be really achievable. And while we want to have a dynamically open game, um, the non-caps are actually caps. I mean, technically, the way I interpreted it, and somebody correct me if I'm wrong, and if we have to, we will ask Chris to come well, back later on next week. And um, You but, can spend that, that billion plus XP to get to 200 skill. There is no 250. There is no 300. So there is a cap if on skills. If you could reach it. And it. I mean, if you had those billions of XP to spend correct so but i mean that's very very unlikely now of course that's unlikely so the likelihood of me becoming the all-powerful necromancer and getting even past a hundred in each of those skills really looks like it's really not attainable at this point or it's not going to be worth going after because, because. of the penalties involved by going past that it's a five years from now problem. Um, well, 
And mm-hmm. maybe mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm throwing right it away there. Well, and to me, it's right now, exactly. Yeah, you know, I'm there already. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, there's a lot of people what? who are there already. Now, to 200. Of course, um, I no. did actually find out something interesting, mm-hmm. but that's a different topic. Um, so hey, so you're gonna create create it just like the interview, and you're just gonna jump to the different topic? No, no, no. It's, uh, it's oh, okay. Somebody chimed in last night about the light source. You know, hey, dude, stop, stop <laughs> now, stop now. Yes, but we're not gonna go to that. Okay, light back on topic. So yes, uh, okay. Sa- same I, same result, yeah. different math. So I'm just curious what other people think. Um, again, that you know, this is probably going to influence a lot of people's play styles. Uh, Led Zepp, you now you and I were talking before the show here, and you you had an analogy you were making, and I would like you to revisit that for me. You you know, you were saying that you were you considered yourself as per the uh, example given. Uh, you are a hardcore gamer, according to the example given. You play over nine hours a day. You play ten hours a day plus. I was, yes. And you you want to hit us with the analogy you were saying? Well, he, in the example you gave, it's, it's, uh, the problem is you need to maintain a hardcore player lifestyle. If you don't, you are in trouble because... You'll be losing nine hours on his example. Yeah, so so if you, if you shift from being a hardcore player to I, a moderate player or even to a casual player, oh that God. death is going to absolutely devastate you. Yes. And, yep. And but by no shifting from the hardcore is what you're saying? Because right. if you look at how all... So... You were a hardcore player for six, seven months, and you ended up getting tons and tons of GM skills, 10 or 20 GM skills. Then you go out and you know what? Your your life changes. You get a new job. You get a divorce. You do something that changes your life, and you no longer have the time to dedicate to the game. Um, and then you start playing four or five hours. And then you go out and you die. That death penalty is still as if you were a hardcore player. That's right. And that's going to happen so, to everybody. When they get to that level, it's going to happen to everybody. So they better yeah, maintain so, their hardcore lifestyle because they're in trouble. They you know, know that that's because adventuring's made for the young whippersnappers. When you get old, you just stay at home. And you don't farm. Jimmy, you Sweet. just stay on that cloud of yours. But what can I tell you? Yeah. So, so where, where, even though Chris is saying that, hey, you know what, that nine hours of playtime, when that changes to, it, essentially, if you double that to eighteen hours of, uh, that nine hours of playtime for a moderate player is two and a half days. Right. Uh, so that, was, that was one year. For, for here, a casual player, that's a week. After giving it a little little more thought after yesterday and sinking in and just comprehending that. So folks like you and me who sit here um, as merchants, um, we're going to get our asses whipped every time with experience loss because we're always going to have a full 24 hours built up on us, basically. Is that correct? Well, we are always going to have 24 hours built up on us, but at the same time, we don't have the same adventuring skills as people that go out and hunt. We stand around, and so we don't have as many uh, skill Speak points yourself, exhausted. Pal. Hey, hey. I, I I saw you standing around a lot yesterday. I, I do a lot of standing around, but uh, I do get out uh, well, quite more than you do. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Are they going to implement the town thing or not? Um, no, that is not. Uh, no, that has been taken off the table as of uh, uh, his post and uh, as of I, yesterday. I, 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 I think it became pro- programming difficulties. And, uh, and you know, with that, I just, again, if you're playing that 10 hours and you're losing 9.1 hours, now I understand, you know, that's, you know, how it's looked at in the other scenario. And I'm going to assume that yeah, sticking you're still with the way it is, day. I don't know personally any gamer who's willing to come in and put in 10 hours 
die a couple times, lose that 10 hours, and then come back and do it again. Repeatedly. I mean, is it is it me? Am, am, am I visualizing this, right? I play 10 hours, I die a couple times, I lose nine and well, a half hours. It, okay, so... Mm-hmm. Okay, the the way that Chris also changed the the math for it, it w- is where he says second in that post. So instead of being that nine hours total in one death, it's really four and a half hours. Dispersal. The second yeah. the, the second death would be two and a quarter hours. Uh, the death after that would be. One if I die enough hour. times in the day, I get whacked for the full 24 hours, yes or no? Three times, three times. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, and you're talking to Leroy Lazarus over here. I died three times <laughs> on entering right. the scene, okay? okay. Like, yes. So, like to try so, new things, right? Yeah. Like, okay. But you do have the chicken. Yes, I do have the chicken, that's right. Is that... <laughs> So I'm I'm just trying to get my head wrapped around why somebody would want to go to the extremes of getting over 100, uh, continue the grind, dying, and losing that over and over and over again. As as Drager says, pro tip, don't die. Don't die. Mm -hmm. Something knocks you down to half health, run away. Yes. Yeah, but... I don't like that because run away. You don't get to run do away. the fun stuff that way. You, I don't uh, like having to make a choice between getting punished for doing the fun, yeah. challenging things, or just doing the same old safe crap over and over again. Yeah, you like to, yes. you like yeah. to screw course, around, right, Marguerite? Exactly. Yeah. Part of my original well. argument. Heck yeah. Uh, earlier, <laughs> so should I say last? I'm kind of curious, Marguerite. Why are you juggling the blue balls? Because I don't have the pink balls. Oh my! U.S. Sorry, sorry, that's completely off topic. <laughs> but when she's juggling blue balls right in front of me, I mean, what, what, what can I say? So, uh, this is the first Charlotte, not for you. I'm trying to untraumatize that poor baby. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean that poor baby who's going to die eventually anyway, again that's and again, that's and right. again. That and tortured again. little soul, Charlotte. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I, I, I think what's going to end up happening is enough people are going to complain about death and decay that Chris yeah. is going to have to remove okay. the decay from the game eventually. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's heard about this forever now, and he seems to be getting more hardcore on his stance. Well, yeah, yeah, it's let like me it's jump the real way. quick <laughs> to yesterday's post blog here. And in the example down there, I would like Jack to read the first paragraph of that clip in yesterday's blog. And then you can make your own informed decision. Uh, What am I reading? Go back to yesterday's. Decay system changes going in today after actually doing all the math for numbers. The current system is down at the bottom. Oh. Oh. I saw on a thread a couple of people saying to put up a vote whether or not to switch off the hard skill caps. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So several reasons I'm not going to do this. First, any change pitches off players. And second, the poll I did before showed that a large number of people had no skill caps as one of their favorite things. Even if a majority are in favor of fixed skill caps, I'm not a fan of letting a majority vote to strip a feature that a minority likes. This ain't okay. a democracy. So... It, <clears throat> so and, we, and we've seen this example not once, not twice, but y- several you know what? times. I, I think Justin is absolutely correct in this assessment that people will eventually stop complaining and they'll just stop playing. Well, and that that will be yet to be seen. But uh, again, uh, I'm, I'm going to reserve my. Well, we need we need to see it. We need to evaluate exactly. it, and we need. I'm going to reserve any to. further comment until we see this in action. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> yeah, in the QA. Well, um, the, the fun factor of, of of going to easier scenes just because you don't want to die sucks. And Solis Bridge, Solis Bridge, Yeah, it's like I was so happy when I graduated. <laughs> I graduated from Deep Ravenswood because I grinded that place for months. Right. I was like, you know, I'm going to bump up to Sequana Colossus now. I've always said 
that Do not. choices, choices, choices. Now you have many yes. choices. You can be a merchant and never go out exploring and live your life happily in a town as a merchant. You can go out there and be cautious, never die. And yes, if you never die, basically, if you can play Boring. and stick to that lifestyle, you can essentially really go places. It's going to take you a sure. long, 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 long time. Or you can go for the gusto and play the game with wild abandon and not worry about it. Now, and have fun and I'm go thinking do things. that one of the reasons why they took away the adventure level and they don't want people to be focused on that was because of something like this. Um, the more they had the numbers in their face, uh, the more they were going to basically whine about how the mechanics work. That's, that's just my thoughts and my logic there. And uh, Well, I, th there was a long time ago, uh, Chris essentially drew a chart that looked like that. Right. Okay. Little, little graph and, going. Yeah, and it was something like forty, then sixty, then then eighty, somewhere in there. Um, and it, it was one where eventually, and he was like talking about skill levels and going on, and it's one where you know what. As the Avatar, we're already coming into the world more popular than, or more powerful than most of the people. That's why we actually start out as Adventurer level five instead of level one. Um, and then from there, it's like, you know what? There are kind of plateaus for character Absolutely. development. And you know what? Go ahead and institute those plateaus, make them a little bit firmer, make the attunement system actually work. You go up in one, mm -hmm. it drops the uh, the opposing one. Hey, 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 we already hey, went through this. Yeah, 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 no, don't worry you about know it. What? We don't need people with, I, I, I hate to say this, equal 100, 100 GMs. Oh, yeah. I've said it years. Yeah. I've said yeah. it a dozen times, and some people disagree yeah, with me. Bye the time we get a couple of years under our belts there's going to be oodles of people running around with 30 40 50 oh, gms that's it better not die it better happen. not die i'm telling you right marguerite yeah um yeah. but at the same time it's that's one where it's like there is no need for specialization that just means hey i'm going to carry around four or five sets of armor with me because you know what i can i already do and that. Any 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 yep. mob that I go against, I've got a deck built specifically for dealing with that type of mob, and I can obliterate the entire damn thing. It's not not one mob type causes me a problem. It's like there is no specialization. There is no reason to actually engage in group dynamics. There's not not a reason for like encouraging different types of play styles. And that goes back to the fire mage not being able to find a fire dragon. And you, you know, know what? That's absolutely the case. But I'm sorry. But at the same time, you shouldn't be a fire mage and a fucking water mage at the same and time. at the same time. And, and that's uh, exactly what you can do right now. Well, it's he like, said he addressed you know that through the through the gear, though. It's being addressed through the gear. If you yeah, through the gear, gear. now but, I now but I. But if be, I can run around with four or five different yeah. sets of gear, you can swap instantly. It's like you know, I can swap it and right then now, just go right gear. into combat. I, I can go up to a hundred and fifty attunement necro, or I can go up to a hundred and fifty attunement fire, depending on the gear. When you know, I'm only at like thirty or forty just naturally, but you give me the gear, man, and I'll put that stuff right off the chart right now. So, um, yeah, that that's again another another conundrum for another time. But uh, yeah, I have I have six outfits. I got twelve decks. Yeah, rich people. I don't even have pants here. Yeah, you got a pair of pants. That's right. Jeez. <laughs> But I think that's what makes the, the gameplay a little bit unique and interesting. I like the idea of being able to, you know, swap on the fly and, and, and address stuff. But I do agree with Jack that 
you know, when I originally, you know, I decided I want to be fire, I want to be death, I want to be a tailor, I want to be a farmer. And that's what I'm shooting for, my, my, my specializations. So there should be some sort of, uh, you know, detriment. I know the gear, like, oh, if you equip this gear, your water attunement goes to zero. Well, maybe if you do tie it to attunement and say one attunement goes up, the other goes down. And you know, you'll that see that in, oh, in a lot of the gear that. as well. You know, if you you wear some necro gear, you're gonna get a ding on one side or other. I, you know, like uh, I'll take the necro ring for example. Um, you know, you get a plus fifty attunement, but you get a two penalties. One is a ne negative one hundred percent health. I think it is. Uh, let me just pull that up on my screen real quick. Yeah, but that's an artifact. Artifacts. I, I understand are that, but we're talking yeah, about yeah. equipment here right now. But artifacts yeah. aren't always the same <laughs> as other gear that will give those bonuses without the negatives. Like my uh, ring of my necromancy ring. plus six <clears throat> that gives me everything without the negatives. That's right. Yeah. That's correct. Absolutely. Ooh. Yeah. So there are ways around that. Oh, look at that ring, though. That ring there. Yeah. Well, yeah. All I, I know is that. With all this stuff added together, I'm not going to go fight dragons or the phoenix ever again. I'm not going to risk it because I'll probably die three or four times at a dragon yeah, or a phoenix. Then my my gear is going to get hurt. Yeah, I died I'm three sorry. times out yeah. when Raven was last night for crying out loud. You know, that's that's the yeah, problem. But, yeah. uh, just because I was testing poison. And I tell you what, there's a bitch. You all want to want skill to try and raise? Try and raise that yeah. poison. That That's a fun one. Uh, moving yeah. right along, we are way the past hardcore that game. normal time. Oh, oh, oh yeah, let's go oh, ahead right. and knock yeah. out the. Count. We, I'm, I'm sorry, we did not not get to talk about the closing of the brothel in Central Brittany. We got tomorrow. Oh yeah. damn! Yeah, <laughs> hopefully <laughs> we'll remember tomorrow. Why are they closing? Um, didn't even know they well, opened I, it. What the hell? I, I tell you, but see led up you're no longer their favorite customer yes uh, but it is time for us to move started on. going Way to the on. other brothel and you know that was it they lost all their income uh, back to the <laughs> i go to, go to latin guys. brothel in smug harbor yeah yes uh it is time for us to actually talk about the community oh calendar my. don't forget that is on nbnn.info or you can also access it via the N -B -N 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 app. N -N -N dot n dot info dot info dot some other site nbnn.info yeah and if you want your it is a google public calendar that is last has aggregated all of the other available public calendars and if you have a public calendar and you want last to add your calendar to this calendar just email news at nbnn.info nice all the fun pictures that you weren't supposed to share, go to nudes at nbnn.info. And don't forget, we are going to be doing the NBNN <coughs> nude calendar, calendar at some point in time of all of the in game nudes. Yes. Only so the best. If you got um, some risque <clears throat> in game character nudes and you, know, you want to be uh, considered for inclusion into the calendar, please send them to nudes at nbnn.info. We're then, folks, we're very serious. About this. <laughs> this will be a printed calendar that will get shipped out. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh, don't forget, old times on the community calendar are Central Standard Time in the real world, real world, but we prefer to refer to it as Nude Britannia Time. Uh, today at noon and six, around the clock, two idiots interpret the news so you don't have to on a show called Lunch with Laz and Jack. On WRFB. WRFB. Today at 4 on Avatars Radio, there is a rebroadcast of the Legion of Myth where Max Leal and Elgarian Dakali talk about all kinds of random geek like subjects. Today at 6 on AR, DJ Squirrel is going to be biting through the wire through the wires at 7 p.m. you need to tune into nbnn on twitch and watch wayne klotz action wayne klotz news. action news reporter going to be broadcasting news. live from down yeah. in virtue oasis come join us for the evl virtue league tournament tonight 7 p.m new britannia time Thank you, exactly man. and back to you, and man. at 7 7 p.m on wrfb is the 70s at 7 at 8 p.m your ether amplifiers had better be dialed in for DJ Eclipse Maidens 
unmedicated schizophrenia part un. NFG maiden. At 8 p.m. in game, show up to Striker Spar Hacks happy hour because you need to get virtually drunk on someone else's dime because Striker Spar Hawks happy hour is also known as Spend Spar Hawks Gold. Yep, he's going to be buying all the drinks all night long at, at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. The final event of the evening is going to be on WRFB. W and that's the record. R -R and that's our community <laughs> calendar for May 17th in Shroud of the Avatar. Shroud of the Avatar. That's right. Now, of course, yes. uh, I'm going to go ahead and we're not going to roll them like we normal. We're just going to go ahead and uh, do a quick shout out and thank you to all our sponsors out there today. Uh, we definitely have to take a look at uh, how we're how we're presenting that to new folks. And, of course, uh, we've got uh, the Novian Lottery, uh, Novia Lottery, not Novian, Novia Lottery, um, out there for you folks, who's just made its move to its new location, right smack in the middle of the map. And, uh, yeah, squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> yeah, we gotta find yeah, we a better way to present this so that uh, it's not just rolling up there and it's not just a, a mishmash. Uh, of course, want to thank, uh, of course, uh, Thex over there at the Airy Fund. Uh, lots of stuff coming out over on that side of the table, and uh, we're gonna have some real new and exciting news coming out to you guys, hopefully at month's end. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, of course, don't forget. Uh, if you want to start your own auction, go to Grimy Traders Auction House, grimytraders.com. You need vegetables, ale, reagents, and more. Check out the Ockenshire Markham Farms. If you need crafting goods, check out the folks over at Black Rock Cove for all your crafting goods. You want to get your way around? Well, so do Maps in Game now. Of course, Relics by Rilled. Relicsbyrilled.com for all your licensed Shroud of the Avatar swag. And if you want to save some money, use the promo code NBNN when you check out. And you will be able to send, save 10% off that swag. And who else are we missing? There's the Marketplace. We can't forget the Marketplace. Marketplace. Marketplace.com for all your virtual vendable needs. Uh, whether it be in-game needs, in-game services, a whole bunch more. Is uh, Crowd Marketplace has got you covered. Got any ideas for the uh, for the marketplace? No, for this whole sponsor thing. Um, I don't know. Spending all the time on Crowd Marketplace because there's over. Almost 50 different players that are vendors. Almost 50. Oh, yeah. 49 over there. It, it, it's like 48 or 49 current players that are have registered as vendors on Shroud Marketplace. Now, of course, I, you, know, as you can be an affiliate and sell somebody else's stuff. Or you can start your own shop and yeah, you know, sell your own stuff. What would you rather yeah. do? Would you rather get a commission on somebody else's sale, or would you rather get all the money from your own sale? I don't know. Shroudmarketplace.com seems to be the place to go if you want to sell your goods. Anything game-related can be bought or sold on Shroud Marketplace, from accounts all the way to game gold to in-game services, anything game-related. So great. if you're looking for Crowns of the Obsidian, you're looking for game gold, you're looking for, you know, reagents, you... If you're looking for a wedding in game, all of that is available I'm on Trout Marketplace. Guy. And you know what? If there's something that's not available and you want to sell it, you go ahead and register as a vendor and start selling it. That's right. Or if you if you want to list things at a cheaper price, sell it. That's the marketplace is all about. Yeah. It's like, yay. If you want teleports and recalls, you can only visit my shop. <laughs> Mine. That's yep. right. Sir Shroud Lang says, buy your gold ingots on Shroud Market. I'm guessing uh, Sir Absolutely. 
has a store on the marketplace? Yes, he does. I mean, uh, if you're looking for under, if you go to crafting, you go to base materials, and you're looking for uh, gold ingots, uh, Cynix Legio Gaming, you definitely want to hit up Cynix Legio Gaming for that. I mean, look at that, seven different ratings, so at least seven different sales. He's even got some reviews out there, Very and nice. which is something else that people get to do is they get to rate the transactions. They get to rate a little bit of everything. Yes. So, so if you're yeah. looking to have good ratings, and of course, I'm not knocking the forums, but you know, I'm not a fan of PM me. I'm not a fan of, hey, I've got a good rating list, but you can't find it because there is no rating list. Marketplace is the place to go check out. Just saying, folks. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Nothing like so, shameless self-promotion. I mean, we wouldn't do anything like that, would we? That's why you need to tune into nbnn.info for all of your entertainment needs. That's right. Everything you need in the palm of your hands. Don't w forget the NBN app. It's got everything you need on your mobile device. So you can take it with you. You can take us during our podcast. You can listen to the radio on the fly. You can read the forms while you're sitting at the doctor's office. You can scream at your buddy for not selling the right stuff or giving you the shift. Whatever it takes, whatever you need, you can find it on NBNN. So moving yep. right along. About that time. Hey, it's time for us to say thank you to everybody watching out on Twitch, YouTube, or listening on WRFB, or even the podcast on the NBNN app. You know what? We couldn't do the show without you guys, and we do it for you guys. Otherwise, it would just be Laz and myself sitting on a lot, sitting on a lot, bitching and complaining to ourselves. That's right. Doing nothing. <laughs> so thank you guys. Uh, we got to say we love goodbye. you guys. That's right. And of course, don't forget, uh, you can tune in here for new, more new sports, entertainment, crazy wild happenings, the latest hijinks and shenanigans. And of course, don't forget, we are the only show on the air that invites you to come on in and join us five days a week and uh, voice your opinions as well. We will be back tomorrow here with Thirsty Thursday on NBN. Until then, I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And we are NBNN. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you all tomorrow. I love this shit. Yes. Marguerite, did you listen to Questing on the Poop Deck yet? I didn't. I'm going to go listen to it now. I didn't want to do it in the middle of the show. Oh, it's too funny. <laughs> why, are we, why are we whispering? I don't know. Because I always whisper when I'm hard. Oh. oh my. <laughs> <laughs>